Hey, my name's Kyle Hill and I do a science show for Nerdist called Because Science. And if you've seen the show, you know, around this point I start spouting off about some weird connection between science and pop culture, but not today. Today is something special because Lenovo invited me to see whether or not their Yoga 720 could incorporate itself into my daily life, specifically wrangle the weird thoughts that produce my weird episodes. So we're partnering up to bring you behind the scenes to see how an episode of Because Science is made to see if it can do it. So let's start. And first thing you should know, as much as I like to say, it's not just me uh, working everything. We sometimes have camera bros. Hey bro. Hey bro, that was great. It's like you've been on camera a million times before. Before anything is filmed, we get to the thought stage, the brainstorming stage. And usually, I'm thinking about some comic book or video game or movie, but again, not today. We are tackling something that's very, very special to me. Specifically, oh, glorious, just, oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous hair. Rapunzel's hair. So, let's get out the yoga, log in. Security is very important to me. And then let's start our search. Wow, oh, that's way better than my notepad. Hey, Cortana. Look up Grimm's fairy tales, Rapunzel pictures. All right, now that we have our pictures, we get to state our question, so let's do that. Is Rapunzel's hair strong enough? Okay, now that our question is stated, we have to search for our data. I usually do that through a web search or talking to any experts I can find, but first, the story was published in 1812. I don't know if that's gonna be relevant, but let's write that down. Next, we need the weight of people. The average man, I know this, it's memorized, is 80 kil, look, not even looking, 80 kilograms. But I don't know everything off of the top of my head. Specifically in this case, we need to know ultimate tensile strength or how much force something can take while being pulled apart before ripping apart. So, hey Cortana, what is the ultimate tensile strength of human hair? Looking at the results that come up from Cortana's search, human hair has a tensile strength of around 200 million newtons of weight that hair can take per square meter of hair. That's really, really strong. But I like to think of and conceptualize what we're actually looking at and what the episode is gonna look like itself. So I do a lot of drawings. Let's do that. But what are the forces involved? Well, I think it looks pretty good, yeah? Yeah, me too. We can get that. But the biggest lingering questions are usually for my own brain. Would Rapunzel's neck even be able to handle that kind of force? I think Rapunzel could get around it by looping her hair around a pole or something on the turret so that she doesn't have to deal with all that force. Does human hair even grow that long though? She'd probably need to be growing her hair for years to get all the way down. However, I think we need to focus on the question at hand. Okay, I think we're on the same page. And dude, your hair? Nice, thank you. Now that we have all of our data, we have it conceptualized, we have answered all of our lingering questions, we can finally do the calculations and figure out what the answer is going to be. So, we know. And you get just 700 and 80. Just 780 human hairs would support the weight of our prince. If you pulled that together into a bundle, it would be thinner than this digital pen. You could climb up this much hair and it'd be fine. This is totally plausible. But still, we're not done. Still a lot of work left. <laughs> but we can do it all here on the computer. And to keep track of it, I like to make a list. Filming, editing, VFX, any QA or quality assurance, and finally platform. Well, at this point, filming would have already happened, so we can cross that off our list. Next comes the editing. And once that's done, it's time to hand it over to my animation wizards in VFX. Crossing that off the list, it's time for any quality assurance issues. And if there's any shots that I need to look at personally, I go and do so. So that's done, and then it's handing everything off to Platform for publishing. That's it, that's more or less how an episode of Because Science comes together, and you know what? 
I actually think that the Yoga 720 did help me organize my weird Rapunzel hair thoughts into something a lot more usable than I usually have, which is just ideas scrawled on a notepad. If you're curious, Yoga 720 running Windows 10. You can check it out now. As for me, I have some testing to do.